Hey, good morning, Allison. This is Corey over at Steamboat Motors. Sorry again about last night. Um, got I was here till like 8.30, I think, or something like that with a super late deal. Um, but here I am making the video for you this morning. So I want to kind of go over it. Uh, of course, you do have the LED lights here along the edge. Pretty sharp, too, especially at night when you're driving. Uh, great tires still. Get us the XLT 2019. It does have remote start. Uh, what's nice too is if you have the key in your purse you could just hit this button to lock it and you pull on this twice to unlock it so you don't have to dig for a key because it does have the push start it also has the uh the passenger or the driver door code it's got the bars up top four crossbars okay coming in here here's the interior in the back it does have a bench in the second row, which is super nice because it just creates that much more seating room. Of course, it does have the third row, which is why we're on the vehicle. Nice looking car, though, with the silver, black up down at the base. We've got an XLT, of course, four wheel drive, backup camera. I know that's important to you, too. To open it, you just hit that button. Or you can hit a button on the remote or from the driver's seat. Um, I left one seat up, one seat down, just so you can kind of see. So super nice when they're laid down. Plenty of room. There's also a really a good amount of room in the back, too, when the seats are down or up. Um, here, I'll show you how you lay them down, too. Super simple. Sorry, I'm holding the camera and have one hand, so if it shakes a little. Pull this to lower the headrest. Lay the seat down. You pull this strap in this one. And it lays flat. So I can do it with one hand while trying to look through my phone. <laughs> I'm giving you the view. So super simple. Of course, it does have the button up here too. You just hit the button and the door goes ahead and closes. If kind of finish the walk around, then I'll take you to the front seat. As you can see, you know, I don't see any scratches or dents or dings or anything like that. Um, you know, it is in really nice shape. Here's a look at the front for you, Allison. That sharp grill. It's a good looking car. Go ahead and hop in the driver's seat. Okay, so here is the interior. As you can see right here, um, power locks, power windows, power mirrors. It does have power seats as well. I'll go ahead and hop in here. All right, so here's the interior. Here's the key as well. Um, so you can go ahead and open the rear hatch, remote start, lock and unlock. Of course, the backup camera as well. You can always zoom in as well if you're hooking up to a trailer. And then if I move the steering wheel, see those lines, it directs me where the vehicle is going to go. It does not have heated seats. Um, it does have obviously your, your large touch screen here, audio phone, climate, you can go ahead and connect your phone, Bluetooth. So you hold this button, say call Corey and it'll call Corey. Um, so super convenient, you know, hands-free driving. Um, dual uh, temperature control for driver and passenger. Obviously these are just your climate controls, but you also have it on the screen as well. And then if you go to your home button, you can see what, what you're jamming to, your phone, any information if you're getting text messages or anything like that. And then um, northeast, south, and west, your compass. Okay, and here you got some storage room. Um, pretty nice. There's uh, adapters down there so you could plug your phone in. Just keep your phone tucked away if you wish. Here's the shifter. You do also have the gear limiter so you can select what gear that you're in. What's super nice about this Explorer too is it has, um, you can go ahead and select the terrain that you're driving on. So mud rut mode, which also turns off the traction control. Okay, you can then go to sand mode, traction control stays off, and then your snow grass gravel mode, which activates your four wheel drive. And then here is your normal mode 
Um, and then that's your downhill assist control. So super nice because it, what it does is it just keeps you safe on the road and does everything on its own. All you gotta do is t twist that dial. Just keep it simple. Um, here's the t uh, push start windshield wipers. Pretty neat setup too. So it's got 40,359 miles. With these arrows on the left, I can go ahead and change. Um, you know, still got 334 miles remaining and it's got a three quarter tank of fuel. Um, you know, all sorts of different options that you can do here. Um, along with the right too, so compass phone entertainment. So if you want, you can keep your phone, you know, see what your music you're playing off your phone or who, who you're talking to or entertainment, you know, what am I jamming out to? Um, you know, I can change the stations from just the button right here. Of course, it's got a great, oh, let's not listen to Osteen, Osteen. Let's bet Michael Jackson. You get a great sound system too, which is super nice, of course. Um, coming over here, you can actually open the rear hatch with that button. These are for your lights. It does have automatic lights, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, and again, like, you know, I don't see any stains, you know, there's, could you maybe use another little wipe down? Um, but I mean, other than that, it's, the vehicle's in great shape. So I hope this was helpful, Allison. Um, again, I can't tell you how many times that I appreciate you, you know, wanting to keep it local and work with not only me and myself, but the dealership here at Steamboat Motors. So if you do have any questions, I'm going to send this over to you. Feel free to let me know. Oh, one more thing I forgot to cover. Blind spot. So if there's a vehicle in, uh, in your blind spot, that'll light up. If you turn your turn signal on while there's a car in there, it'll beep at you. let you know that it's not safe to move over. So, um, well, that's just about covers it. Um, uh, Give me a call on my cell phone at 815-914-4630 if you have any questions. Again, Allison, my cell phone is 815-914-4630. It's Corey at Steve Up Motors. Thank you.